Today we're going on a field trip to teach you more about the Scopes Monkey Trial. The Scopes Monkey Trial was a case of modernist values versus traditionalist ideals. The Scopes Monkey Trial began on July 10th, 1925 and it was the state of Tennessee versus teacher John Scopes. John T. Scopes said this quote about the trial. I like to think that the Dayton Trial, which was the Scopes Monkey Trial, had some part in bringing birth to this new era. The outcome of this trial was the public became more comfortable with the idea of evolution and became more interested in major court cases across the United States. <laughs> ooh, uh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh. In 1925, the state of Tennessee passed the Butler Law, which forbade the teaching of Darwin's theory of evolution in all Tennessee schools. We're at the zoo right now because there are monkeys here. During the trial, there are monkeys outside to draw the public's attention to the court case. The Butler Law states that it is punishable by fine to teach any theory that, the, that denies the story of divine creation of man taught in the Bible, and to teach instead that man has descended from a lower order of animals. In 1925, when the Butler Law was passed, the ACLU, which was the American Civil Liberties Union, Put in a statement that they would support any teacher who decided to break this law so that it could go on court. Normal monkeys? I don't know. No, they only have gibbons. Oh, I don't. What do you know about monkeys? Uh, that they monkey around. <laughs> the next stop on our field trip is the Museum of Nature and Science because we wanted to talk about evolution. We had prom here last year. <laughs> Darwin's theory of evolution explained that man evolved in some sense from monkey, and that's why it was called the Monkey Scopes Trial. The first specific action of this case was that the ACLU offered to support any teacher who would teach evolution against the law. Then, Scopes agreed and got arrested on purpose so that there could be a trial. Finally, the Tennessee court found Scopes guilty and he had to pay a $100 fine. Oh. In 1927, the Tennessee Supreme Court overturned the monkey trial verdict. The next stop on our field trip is the Denver Capitol because we want to learn about the Bill of Rights and its amendments. The restrictive legislation on academic freedom is forever a thing of the past. Religion in science is a common request for the truth. Uh, that's a quote from John T. Scopes. The Sixth Amendment is the right to fair trial. This applies to the Monkey Scopes case. <laughs> the Sixth Amendment is the right to fair trial. This applies to the Monkey Scopes trial because John T. Scopes purposely broke the Butler Law so that it could get a trial and he could fun. try to get rid of it. The First Amendment is the freedom of speech, so technically John Scope should be able to teach whatever he wants to. In 1968, the Supreme Court overturned a similar case saying it was in violation of the First Amendment. Therefore, no more laws banning the teaching of evolution could be made. The reason why this trial happened was because John T. Scopes and the ACLU wanted to teach evolution in schools. The ACLU wanted to support teachers because their motto is to defend and preserve the individual rights and liberties guaranteed by the Constitution. Twelve seconds later. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you learned something. <laughs> He's a monkey. Ooh ooh. Ooh ah uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Ha <laughs>